let's sketch this function. So we're going to do it in three stages. We're going to sketch the thing in the absolute value. Then we're going to apply the absolute value. Then we're going to deal with this, a vertical shift. So sketching x squared plus x minus 6, that's a quadratic and we should know how to sketch it. Uh, but let's just sketch it really quickly. So the bits that I'm going to need, I'm going to need a y-intercept. That's this number here. So the y-intercept equals negative 6. I'm going to need x-intercepts. Uh, and so I'm going to have to solve for when f of x equals 0. So 0 equals x squared plus x minus 6 can be factorized uh, to be x, x, uh, plus 3, and minus 2. Therefore, x equals negative 3 or uh, positive 2. So they're going to be my x-intercepts. I've got my y-intercept. I'm going to need a turning point. And the turning point for this, we can use like negative b over 2a. So negative b over 2a equals negative 1 over 2 times 1. The turning point is negative 1 half. And if I sub negative 1 half in for that, f of negative 1 half, I'll get negative 1 half squared plus 1 half minus 6 I'll get negative, uh, positive a quarter minus a half um, and minus 6 that's negative uh, 6 and 1 quarter I believe um, so finishing all this off I have a y-intercept of negative 6 x-intercepts of negative 3 or positive 2 and a turning point equal to uh, negative a half uh, negative 6 and a quarter 6 and a quarter. Now I'm going to sketch it on my Cartesian plane here uh, y-intercept of negative 6, here's negative 6 um, x-intercepts of 2 and negative 3 and a turning point of negative a half down there and uh, negative six and a quarter, which is about there-ish. Okay, now, obviously this is rough, but we get a quadratic that's going to have a turning point there and passing through to... Now, what I have sketched is a pretty rough quadratic of the form x squared plus x minus six, but I need an absolute value. So I need to take this and flip it. Now that means that the y-intercept gets flipped from negative 6 to positive 6, which according to my ruler is about here. Okay, and that means that the turning point gets flipped as well from negative a half, negative 6 and a quarter to negative a half, positive 6 and a quarter. So still the negative a half, because I'm just flipping that way, but here, and negative 1 half, uh, positive 6 and 1 quarter. Okay, and now all of that now becomes like a, a bounce. Quadratic, bounce, quadratic, bounce. Boom, bounce, boom. Okay, um, so I'm going to just sort of get rid of this. Alright, that's pretty satisfying. Now, what I have here is this, all of this, the absolute value of x squared plus x minus 6, but now I have a vertical shift of negative 2. So that negative 2 is going to shift everything down by 2 units. So this, um, negative, this uh, negative 3, 0 is now going to be negative 3, negative 2. This 2, 0 is now going to be um, 2, negative 2. Uh, this 6 is now going to become 4, and this 6 and a quarter is going to become 4 and a quarter. Uh, and then we're going to have to deal with our x-intercepts somehow. Alright, so I've got some nice little dotted lines now. Uh, so now I'm going to draw a new curve uh, down to uh, negative 3, negative 2. And then the curve should follow this to our new turning point, negative 1 half, 4 and 1 quarter and through 4, and then down to this point, 
uh, which is uh, 2, negative 2. Okay, boing, bounce. Boing, bounce. Uh, just make sure I get my curve right. Should look like that. Roughly. Okay, so that is the shape of the absolute value of x squared plus x minus 6 minus 2. Uh, now, the thing that's really annoying me at this stage is um, this and this and this and this. When we sketch functions, we usually know what our um, x-intercepts are. And at the moment, uh, I don't. So I'm going to have to find my x-intercepts. How do we find x-intercepts? We let y equal 0. So I hope you copied all that down. So now let's find our x-intercept by letting f of x equal 0. So 0 equals the absolute value of x squared plus x minus 6 minus 2. Now that means that 2 equals the absolute value of x squared plus x minus 6. And this is where our uh, equations first diverge. Because that means that 2 equals x squared plus x minus 6. Or um, negative 2 equals x squared plus x minus 6. Now this is good that our equation is diverging because I've got a lot of answers I need. I need four answers, so I need my equation to diverge. Um, now, this is a quadratic, and this is a quadratic. If I solve those two quadratics, maybe they'll have two solutions each. I hope so, because I need four solutions, two solutions, two solutions. I'm not going to solve those quadratics on camera. You know how to solve quadratics. So, solved, I have four answers. Uh, now, this one I solved using completing the square, and I've got two answers, 2.37 and negative 3.37. Now, they make sense uh, here, so negative 3.37 and 2.37 uh, there. And then I have two other answers, um, negative 2.56, which makes sense here, and 1.56 here. Now, you'll notice I got a bit lazy here. I didn't want to use completing the square. I pulled my calculator out, n solve, and got two answers. You should be comfortable with completing the square. You should be comfortable using this. You could have used the quadratic formula if you wanted to. Uh, if they factorize neatly, which these don't, but if they did, um, you could have done it that way as well. Okay, um, there's a lot going on there. You can see I drew three functions before I settled on my final function. And then I had to solve an absolute value to get four answers. Uh, that's a pretty hectic question, uh, but that's the kind of thing that you need to do when you're sketching an absolute value function.